Man, this is going to tick off some people at work on pterosaurs and trackways, but what can you do? You got to go with the science, right? Hi, I'm Anton Froblewski, and I'm coming to you today from the battleship Lithologica. Uh, this is my mobile portable cabin, uh, research facility when I'm doing field work, and fishing cabin. Uh, it's my Lance truck camper that I stick in the back of my pickup truck before I go off and do field work uh, looking at rocks and fossils. But I'm here to talk to you today about something really exciting. I just had a paper come out. It's a preprint today. Uh, the actual paper will be out soon enough, but it's on reinterpreting trackways. Now, these trackways are from the upper Jurassic of France. They were originally described several years ago by some researchers as pterosaur tracks. Um, for a variety of reasons, I'll tell you about in a second, I don't think they're pterosaur tracks, and that's the gist of the paper that I just wrote and published. So some background on these tracks is they are originally found in France, as I mentioned. Uh, they don't look like what's typically thought of as being a pterodactyloid or a pterosaur track. Now most pterosaur tracks are made by guys like this. This is a full-sized uh, tenochasmatid. Some people argue it's a juvenile, some people argue it's an adult. This is a cast, by the way, it's just resin. Uh, but it's full size. And you can see these little guys have five toes on their hind feet. They've got three fingers on their wings, no tail. And they kind of walked along like little bats. The trackways described in the paper from a few years ago look different than what these things make. And they were interpreted by the authors to be made by Rampharynchoids. This is Rampharynchus from the Solenhofen limestone. It's about the same age as the tracks. Uh, you can see the long tail with a vein on it. And it's also got these very, very small little toes, much smaller toes than the pterodactyloid I just showed you. Uh, they also have three fingers. They're not preserved in this specimen, but they've got that. It's really hard to see on this track on this uh, cast, but they've got a fifth toe that's kind of hooked backwards. It's sort of arched backwards. Um, most people assume that wouldn't have left a footprint or left a track in the footprint. So the new paper from a couple of years ago argued that these rampharynchoids like this made these odd new trackways. And they pointed to a variety of anatomical uh, clues to that. Being the kind of guy I am, I wound up looking at a not just that paper and not just their interpretation of the tracks, but I've had my eye on a variety of other tracks like lizards, crocodilians, uh, little rhynchocephalians, things like the tuatara. Turns out a bunch of their trackways look a lot closer to what was described in that paper than what a rampharynchoid would have left. So I wrote a paper arguing just that. Uh, it went through review. Some of the reviewers were pretty harsh about it. They didn't like my interpretation. Um, but it's important to remember with science, you're dealing with deduction. Uh, a wise inspector on TV, Inspector Morse, once said, I never think, I only deduce. I only ever deduce. There's a lot of truth to that. When you're looking at scientific data, emotions shouldn't get in the way. You shouldn't think something is, is what you want it to be and then defend it to the death, you should go with where the data take you. So that's what I did. I looked at the um, photographs and models and drawings of these trackways that were presented in the published paper from several years ago, compared them to modern and ancient trackways of a variety of other animals besides pterosaurs. It seems to fit better that they're not pterosaurs. So the paper's out. It was accepted. Uh, if you want a copy of it, like I said, it's behind a paywall, that's kind of a hassle. And for a lot of people that can't afford a journal or, or you're just kind of curious about it, but you don't necessarily want to pay for it, I totally get it. Send me a direct message, comment below, right down there. Um, I will get you a copy. I've got a copy of the PDF of the preprint. Now, this is not the final published article. It's a preprint, but I'll get you a copy. So hit me up. Um, if you're curious, um, you can also find the old one online, uh, the paper that originally described these as pterosaurs. So don't take my word for it. Take a look at the original paper if you want. Uh, compare. That's what science is all about. It's about checking, double checking, and calling BS when you see BS. Maybe I'm completely full of it. I don't think I am. But, you know, somebody else might come along and say, man, you really screwed it up. So go for it. Like I said, if you want a copy, comment below, DM me. I'll get you a copy of the new paper. It's a pretty exciting day. Uh, next up, I'm going to be actually going on some adventures out to look at real rocks again so don't worry i won't be bothering you from from this boring uh truck camper anymore i'll be actually looking at some rocks and some modern systems so stay tuned i appreciate you watching as always thanks for viewing if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe you'll get all kinds of new and exciting stuff like this okay take it easy and i'll talk to you later see you from the field